Welcome once again to HiddenIncaTours.com and today we're exploring Mitla in Oaxaca. Now Mitla is not a site that is uh, very commonly visited but there are lots of anomalies here. Notice the size of these massive blocks on top of the wall as compared to the relatively crude work elsewhere So this clearly seems to be a site that was found by the local native people and then rebuilt. Again, as we walk through this passageway, you see the very crude walls created by the local native people. And then in contrast, you see the size of this six ton block, which is a lintel. And here we're exploring more of it and as time goes on you'll see the difference again in construction style massive basalt blocks as headers sometimes down at the foundation and then very rough work in between here again you see the large blocks on top and the relatively crude work below it looks like it has been reassembled and could have been the victim of an ancient cataclysm thousands of years before the time of the local native people who were called the Zapotecs and the Mixtecs. There are also present a number of these columns made of solid basalt. They are between 8 and 10 feet high and the quarry from which the basalt comes from is at least two miles away. There are no native trees that grow in the area to be used as log rollers, so how were they moved? And then another giant lintel you'll see, solid basalt, and then much cruder work which came later. Look at the amount of mortar utilized and the very rough shapes of the stones And here again, we see possible reassembly in the upper area and very crude work below. Now this is the kind of evidence we see definitely in Peru, Bolivia, Egypt, and Lebanon, but I was quite surprised to find it in Mexico. And here again, this shows you one of the large courtyard, a large pillar in the background, a giant stone there on the lower left, and then much cruder work in the rest of the area. And here, a large block that looks like it had to have been cut by advanced tools inserted into a rough wall. And here are more of these massive basalt columns, and then there's a lintel to the right-hand side one of the stones weighing at least 18 tons. And here, with the foundation, again you notice very large, super tight fitting blocks. You can barely pass a piece of paper in the joints, if at all. And here, another very rough wall, and a massive lintel, and more of the giant columns. Sorry about the sound of the dog. And here again, look at the base. Very tight fitting blocks and very rough work above it. Clearly done by two very different cultures. The work above by a relatively technologically primitive people, the work below by some advanced civilization living in Oaxaca, Mexico. And here the church which is next door, you can tell that the church was built using stone that had already been cut and was found locally. And again a very rough wall and then a lintel weighing at least six tons.
And, on the other end of the archaeological site, another giant column. And finally, another look at these tall columns and the lintel comprised of huge cut stones.